Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? Mike Ness. The days of wine and roses were a long time ago. The prom stays cruising in the picture show. You tried so hard to fix your outside Until you realize that I took everything inside Give me all my heart Give me your soul I'll take you when you're young The devil Something inside that burns like a fire And you realize you've been blessed with a wild desire Good stuff, huh? <laughs> That's all right. I grew up listening to uh, some of the bands that played on that uh, original bill. Here's a Bob Dylan song. Send one away. 
Thank you. I don't see no naked people running around. This next song is a, a happy little song Mr. Bruce Springsteen sang on the, the new record with me. You guys want to hear a happy song? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't play any happy songs. That's not true. How you doing, baby? There they are. <laughs> this song's called Misery Loves Company.
Thank you. People, there's some bad brown acid going around out there. <laughs> if you start to feel strange, grab a hold of your neighbor and kindly beat the shit out of him. You will surely have a good trip. No, that's not true. I don't want to encourage drugs. I wrote a song about the perils of life as a junkie. I wanted to write a song which show which way the wind really blew. None of this William Burroughs glamorizing shit. This song's called Don't Fiend Blues.
I lie and I do do some happy songs. This next song is a very happy song. This is a love song. Because fellas, take a look around. Surely you won't mind. They are surrounded by beautiful women. This song's called Rest of Our Lives. press on this show and everyone was asking me, you know, what are my feelings and what's my message and, uh, you know, I'll let you know when I know. All I know, if you don't got roots, you don't got shit. This next song is written by a man I grew up listening to who inspired me just as much as Sid Vicious did. I just kind of gravitate towards the, the naughty ones. Who wants to hear a Johnny Cash song? <laughs> oh, I'd love to. Let's do this.
generous audience. Thank you. <laughs> and a fine looking one at that. I'm seeing we got some survivors out there in the crowd. Uh -huh. Got to be a survivor in this day and age, ain't that right? It's sad but true. How you doing, baby? There they are. A lot of the same issues still exist that were going on 30 years ago. I just want to write a song because I wasn't supposed to live this long. So being here today singing for you all in the hot, sticky sons of New York. This song's called Charm Life.
I'm gonna tell this story one last time. Hi, baby. Anyone see that Johnny Cash tribute on television? Did you happen to notice there was some, someone missing? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember getting that call. But, uh, you know, at first I was a little pissed off and then I thought to myself, you know what, I do a tribute to Johnny Cash every fucking night. This is a song that was inspired by him. This song's called Ballad of a Lonely Man. This next song is about an individual who can't seem to function very well in the real world. Some of you might know someone like that. He finds his dependability in a piece of machinery. It could be a Chevrolet. It could be a Ford. It could be an old panhead or a knucklehead. Or a shovelhead. Regardless, this song is called, I'm in love with my car.
to hear a social distortion song. <laughs> I think I would like to too. I just like to say we're just taking a little break at this moment. This is what I would like to do in my spare time and thanks for coming down. I wrote the song about 10 years ago as a, originally as a crying in your beer song. So don't be afraid to weep, because we're going to do this Bakersfield style. Grab a hold of your balls and your chains and sing along.
There's a barn burner.
recently introduced my band. That's Sean Graves on the electric guitar. Chris Lawrence on the pedal steels and Telecaster. Handsome Grant Harding on the upright bass. And my buddy Charlie Quintana on the drums. Thanks very much for coming down. Let's take this one out. some lost kids let me make this announcement lost kids so listen to this Jim and Doug Tybersky fine brother by Center TV big screen West Stage Jim and Doug fine brother by big screen TV West Stage the best fucking stage at Woodstock huh I gotta take you know what if anybody in my life ever says, I ain't shit, I'm gonna show them the picture, I'm taking it to the crowd, I'm working. You guys are the best. Stick around, we are gonna have a great time here today. Drink water, wear sunblock, and have fun. We got some watermelon heads over there. There you go, nice hats. There you go. That's the only head you'll be eating. Anyhow, hang out. Jody loves Mike Ness right there. Okay, Jody. All right, stick around. And Jim and Doug Tybersky, find your brother by the big center TV screen. Oh, I got to Hold on.
Good afternoon. I'd like to I'd like to announce the winner of the VW Beetle, raffled off by the Rome Rescue Mission here in Rome, donated by the Ace Hardware. The winner of the VW Beetle is Jerry Eberly. Ticket number 614422. Four, two. Thank Am I on? I'm on, right? Okay, if anybody, if anybody loses their car keys here at some point, at the end of the night, they'll, they'll tra check the lost and found, if anybody loses their car keys. And Trevor 
Frazier. Trevor Frazier. Meet your brother at the PlayStation now. Trevor Frazier at the PlayStation now. Have a great time, folks. Hold on. Hold on, folks. See him right here. What's your name? Todd. This is Todd. Say hi to Todd. And, and what's your name? Dawn. This is Dawn. Todd wants to talk to Dawn. Dawn, for two and a half years, I've known you're my soulmate. I want to tell you in front of the world, in front of God and everybody, I want to spend the rest of my life with you for eternity. Will you do me the honor of being my wife? Come on, a big hand, look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, look at this. Uh, no problem. Here, huh? They uh, said, can I take a picture with you guys? Oh, please. L wait, let me make out with her. You know what would have been, you know what would have been funny? If she would have said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> let me see the ring. Oh, that's a nice ring, man. You watch Home Shopping Network too, huh? That's a nice ring. Turn around, turn around for the reporters. Turn around. Huh? There they go, right there. Look at that. Huh? Who, my name? They need their names, first and last. Look at this, thanks. Go ahead. No, anytime, anytime. You owe me 20 bucks. Anyhow. Motherfucker, I've been up here three days. This guy's gonna get more fucking pressed than...